looks like we've got some time with that sun. It does, doesn't it? Tangerine effect. Hello again. Hello. So we've just come out to Newsom, not Newsham, it's Newsom. Newsom. And what we're looking at here is what must be the most expensive of all the Northumberland line stations because this one has got rid of a level crossing and created a two platform station with lifts and a footbridge and a new road bridge. Now, you may have followed in the news recently that there is a huge controversy down in its Bister, isn't it? It's Bister, yeah. Bister village area where there's a level crossing that it's probably going to end up being closed on average for at least 40 minutes an hour because of the timetabling for the east-west rail link so the question people will be saying and i'm sure and it's a valid question and i'm sure people will ask it why does this little station get all this and bister doesn't well we're going to have a quick look at how much effort it is to actually get a road over a railway and that might just put your minds at rest assuming we don't get blown away uh, you're gonna have to excuse the sun. Oh, I got where's my head? There, there we go. Is. You're gonna have to excuse the sun. This might. It's just I'm trying to get the station in the background. Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn around now. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay. So the problem is that I don't think highways and railways engineers have this habit of talking to one another because you can tell looking at this, and I can certainly tell looking at it. The highways element of this project is separate from the railway pro element of the project. But what we were saying is this is probably the most expensive station on the Northumberland line. I think, and it wouldn't have been beyond the wit of the design ability, lifts are a good thing, accessibility is a good thing, and I think it would have been possible to integrate the two lift towers into the road bridge, which would have saved the need to create two crossings of the railway and then you would have been able to use the money saved from that to have a slightly wider road bridge to allow pedestrians and cyclists to cross and it would have allowed for direct ramps down to the platform level as well it would have probably taken up less space because the platforms have sort of shrunk down by the presence of the ramps and steps from the lift towers now i'm fairly sure that somebody's going to say well you know the railways have their own regulations and that but it, again sensible design would say you can combine things old railway stations do this for example if you're familiar with say Blackrod station in Lancashire the world still turns at that one but it does the job it does the job so the lifts aren't the issue for me I know lifts are expensive but I think they could have been integrated with the road would have saved a little bit of money and looked less ugly because let's be honest it looks ugly this could have been used for ramps and these oh, yeah and there's a lot of embankment that could have been used but so yeah to go back to what the original point was in Bister there isn't any space to do any of this you need for example to you can't make the railway go over the road because you'd have to lift the railway up now the standard railway gradient is a minimum of one in about one in a hundred something like that, something like that probably even shallower I'm sure I'll tell you what ask Gareth Dennis he'll know um, but the minimum sort of road gradient that's acceptable is we, we would commonly say one in 20 so it's always easy for a road to go over a railway taking a road under a railway introduces all sorts of problems with flooding because you've got to keep the dip under the railway free of water which requires some serious drainage um, so that just leaves you with going over where would you fit this at the Bister location? You couldn't. You couldn't. I think the benefit of having the railway outweighs the disadvantage of being able to put a level crossing. It's it's a foolish argument to say, oh, I don't want a railway because I might get held up crossing it. East West Rail will transform that entire Oxford to Cambridge area, much like this Northumberland line reopening is going to transform the Ashington to Newcastle corridor. All these towns along this railway line are going to get investment now. You can already see round round Newsom, there's already several new housing estates which can now benefit because they can sell houses on the basis of you can drive to the railway station if you need to, park up at the railway station and take the train to Newcastle. You don't have to go and sit in traffic on the A1. That's the whole point of these things. Railway stations need to be accessible. What they don't need is a fortune spending on fancy gadgets and gimmicks which only impress enthusiasts. It's now 2025 almost. 
we need to think a bit more practically. I mean, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, you can build a pretty station, but I think having a station is more important than having a pretty station. Just a thought. Hit the nail on the head. There you go. And uh, I'm getting cold now, it's really windy. Yeah, can we go? Yeah, we're gonna go now. See ya. Bye.